Hey guys, welcome to Invest Your Paths and Drafting. My name is Umo, and today's tutorial is going to be on how to sew this sort of gigot sleeve. So, gigot is the French word for the back leg of an animal, especially that of a lamb or a sheep. The gigot sleeve is also called the leg of mutant sleeve and it was named for its resemblance to the sheep's hind leg which is wide at the top and then it narrows down at the bottom there are different variations of this sleeve however this is the variation that we are going to be trying to replicate i have actually drafted the pattern for this dress in a previous video i will put the link in the description box so if you actually want to see how the pattern for this dress is drafted please follow the link in the description box so let's go ahead to how to make the sleeves so first off i have drafted my basic sleeve pattern so this is my basic sleeve pattern and remember that this is just half of it i'm going to measure the rim of this sleeve which is about 11 inches so having measured that i'm going to go ahead and draw my peplum and if you have issues um watch um knowing how to draft the peplum please let me know in the comment section so i can do a video on it so this is the peplum that i'm talking about and the rim of this peplum you can see me measuring remember this peplum is on fold <coughs> so first off my sleeve pattern was um i drafted the pattern for half of my sleeve which is essentially my sleeve pattern on fold and then this peplum is also on fold so the length is 15 inches and the rim of it which is what we're going to be sewing to the rim of the sleeve is also 11 inches so that point is also 11 inches so remember that from the picture it is there's no gathers at the um, sleeve at the shoulder area do you understand so you're sewing exactly you're cutting out exactly what you need if there was gathers then would have probably doubled it you know or something so the length is 15 inches and then the rim is 11 inches so now i've um, cut out my main sleeve with my fabric so this is lace fabric and this is my main sleeve it's actually on fold too and so first off i'm going to measure where i want that um leg of mutton sleeve to end which is about 12 inches from my cap height you see that from the top of my sleeve so 12 inches remember the peplum is 15 inches and then this one is 12 inches so you have to make that peplum in excess so that you can have some form of fullness at this lower part guys i hope that is clear so this is 12 inches i'm going to flip this over and this is the right side of my fabric which is facing up and on that right side, I'm going to um, transcribe that same join. I should have actually drawn that line on the right side. So just ensure that um, the line is on the right side of your fabric. So this is my 12 inches. So essentially, this is the line that I am going to be sewing on. Do you understand? So this is my peplum that I showed you initially. So can you see that? Remember also to cut lining for your peplum. You're going to be lining it. In this case, I'm using suit lining. So you have to line it so that it will have weight. Do you understand? So it's not just flimsy like that. So this is my peplum. So this is the rim. The rim you are going to be sewing it to the top of your sleeve. And then that lower part is what's where the end of the peplum is what we're going to be sewing along that line. 
Jemson. So that lower part is much, much um, wider than what we're going to be sewing it on. So we're going to have to gather. We're going to have to gather it. Can you see that? So you're going to have to pull gathers with that. So pull gathers with that. Can you see that? It's really, really full. You know it's a peplum. So you have to pull gathers. Find a way to pull everything. Ensure that everything is incorporated. And then you flip it over and then sew the rim of the peplum to the rim of your sleeve. Did you understand that, guys? So this is what it actually looks like after it's been sewn. Can you see that? I sewed it with my lining. Room. Can you see? So sew it with the lining and then you're supposed to flip it over. So after doing that, you flip it over and sew it to the rim of the sleeve. So can you see that, guys? See what it looks like. Can you see it? It's already formed nicely. So everything is just nice and just smooth and all that. So this is what you're going to do, you know, align them and then sew again. Remember that it's 11 inches against 11 inches on 11 inches. Do you understand? So it should just sit perfectly without any form of excess. So can you see you sew that up until the end? So can you see the essence of the fullness, guys? You can see the fullness at the elbow area of the sleeve. So this is what it looks like after I have sewn it. Can you see that, guys? And you can see the fullness at the elbow area. If you're not subscribed at this point, please ensure that you pause right now and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And if you have found this video useful thus far, please ensure that you give this video a like. I would really, really appreciate that. So this is what it looks like after it has been sewn. And then next up, I'm just going to... Let's see what the inside looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead and then if you decide to hem the wrist area of your sleeve, you can just go ahead and then um, fold it and hem it. But if you feel like the finishing of your um, net is nice enough to be left that way, then that is okay. So this is what it is going to be looking like if you are interested in the other parts of this dress ensure that you follow the link in the description box to watch that video guys so that's what the fullness looks like and then you can just go ahead and fold it and then hem if you want to but if not you can leave the edge like that since net doesn't really really free so if you're not subscribed at this point ensure that you pause right now and you hit the subscribe button guys i would really really appreciate that like so i hope you have found this helpful i have come to the end of this tutorial so go ahead and sew the side up and then attach your sleeve to the bodies of your clothes thanks for watching guys